Good Thanksgiving morning to you. I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland checking out our travel forecast this morning. At least for flying, we're looking pretty clear out there. No delays right now and none expected. Just some rain expected in Salt Lake City and Seattle with temperatures there pretty warm, though, looking at cooler temperatures across the north and east. But in our area will stay warm as well with a few clouds in our area this afternoon. Not tracking that snow until tonight when we start seeing that snowfall in the mountains of the northern and southern Rocky Mountain front. By Friday early morning as we get out and go Black Friday shopping out there. I know some of us are getting ready for that already. Well, more of that snow will stay to the south and west with clouds to the north and east. And then by Friday morning, more of those snow showers stay mostly over the Continental Divide before becoming widespread Friday into Saturday morning. So more of that snowfall for central Montana at least Friday into Saturday. And that's going to affect our travel plans then. But for now, in our area today, not looking at too many of those travel delays with more of those clouds in by lunchtime and by dinner, about 35 degrees out there and mostly cloudy. But we'll see a little bit more of that sunshine, at least through this afternoon. Tomorrow, though, as that snow moves in, a little bit different story for that travel. We do have a winter weather advisory in effect for our area and a winter storm watch in effect for parts of Missoula and western Montana as more of that snow and some ice even uh, coming into our area at least Friday through Saturday and noon. So 5 to 10 inches in our area expected in the mountains, 2 to 4 in lower elevations. But with 35 mile per hour gusts, we could see reduced visibility out there. But we all have a debate about dressing versus stuffing in the uh, south versus north. Well, whatever you do, turkey dressing today going to be sunny and a little bit breezy out there again 30 mile per hour gusts but not tracking too many of those cold temperatures today but more of that snow and some rain move back into the forecast Friday into Saturday.